Okay, over the last couple lessons, you've learned how to identify key system actors and how to understand clicks. Now you're ready to start doing some analysis. Let's get started. Here's our first map. We have three questions for you to consider. First, which actors play the most critical roles? Second, what are the strengths of the system? And third, what are the possible challenges? So what do you see? Well, when I look at this map, I notice several different clicks that have high engagement but low exploration. I also notice that C plays an important role resource hub and is an important source of information for all the clicks. Because every click is seeking something from C, it has the potential to broker new relationships between clicks. But if C were to leave, there would be nothing connecting the clicks, right? Because of the central role that C plays, we can call this system centralized. In centralized systems, actors are often disconnected islands of activity. They typically lack information flow and coordination, even when working in similar thematic areas. So, in our map, you can easily see that the blue click is distance from the green, red, brown and yellow clicks. Let's look at another example. What do you notice here? Which actors are most important? What are the strengths and challenges of the system? Okay, so this map looks different from the previous one, right? There are several very important actors in this system. Actors D, B, A and G are resource hubs. You see how they all have several arrows each pointing into them. Great! Organization G is a broker between three different clicks. Did you notice that E and F also play crucial roles? They form a bridge to these two clicks. But while engagement is taking place in the clicks and some exploration is taking place between clicks, if actors E and F were to leave, ideas flow would collapse. This is a decentralized system. In decentralized systems, information and knowledge can be very hard to access. There is often little awareness about the various roles that actors play. You might compare it to taking a walk in the dark. You might stumble on something wonderful, but it's more likely you will walk right on by without noticing. Ok, one more map. What observations do you have about this system? Which actors, if any, are most important? What are the strengths and challenges in this system? Man, this one is, well, busy. This is an example of a distributed system. Did you notice that there are both high levels of engagement as well as exploration among clicks? While the system has resource hubs and brokers, they don't dominate the system like they do in centralized systems. Distributed systems have greater cohesion and more equitable flow of knowledge, information and influence. If one or more actors leave the system, the impact would be negligible. See what happens when we remove C? Did you notice a big drastic change? Nope! For this reason, distributed systems tend to be the most resilient and sustainable. You did it! You have begun to analyze system maps. Now, take a look at the practice map on in Pando. Do you see evidence of a centralized, decentralized or distributed system? As you consider which type of system this is, ask yourself, are clicks well connected to one another? Or do you see disconnected islands? And do a few single actors play a prominent role within a system?